Well, hello YouTubers and welcome back to the channel. A few months ago I did a, an Iron Butt uh, Saddle Soar 1000. Since I did that I, I created a video and I've had several people ask me what's involved in doing an Iron Butt. How do you prepare? Uh, what uh, equipment do you need? Uh, and uh, what apps help you in navigation and uh, in tracking? So I decided to do another saddle sore and uh, show you my how I prepare and a little of how I ride it. But if you want to see uh, a ride of a, a complete Saddle Soar 1000, you can look at my earlier video and there's a link up there at the top of the page and also you'll find uh, the video in, in my uh, list of videos on my channel. Anyway, the very first thing that I do is I plan my ride in Google Maps. For this ride, I decided that I was going to leave Orlando and ride to Jacksonville, which is about a couple of hours. And then I thought I would ride along the north boundary of uh, Florida uh, to Tallahassee. And then south to Naples, right across the Alligator Alley to uh, Fort Lauderdale, and back to Orlando. I thought this would be about a thousand miles, and so when I plotted it on Google Maps, that was confirmed. It was 1,034 miles. Now, I didn't just plan to go to Jacksonville. I picked a specific spot in Jacksonville to stop. And I did that by searching for gas stations around the highway that I was using to ride into Jacksonville. By the way, I let Google Maps choose my highways because Google Maps will choose the quickest, the most direct route to your de destination. And when the Iron Butt Certification Committee look at your ride, they use Google Maps and the destinations that you have or the locations that you've chosen on Google Maps and check the distances all along the way and that's how they determine that you've ridden a minimum of 1,000 miles. Some people have just used the odometer on their motorcycle, but most odometers are not accurate. They're a little optimistic. Like I found that when I did my ride 1,034 miles by Google Maps on my motorcycle, it registered 1,062. So if I had planned just to ride 1,000 miles based on the odometer reading of my motorcycle, I would have been short and would not have qualified for certification. So, in order to start planning my ride, first I, decide, I had to decide which gas station I was going to use. There's a Wawa not too far from my house here in Florida, so I, and it's a 24-hour gas station. Since I had planned that my ride would take between oh, 17, 18 hours, uh, depending on traffic. I could be optimistic and try to get it a little, a little less, but uh, I'm okay with between 16 to 18 hours. Uh, so first of all, I thought I would go to gas up at Wawa between 4 and 4.30 a.m., which would bring me back to Orlando at around 10 o'clock, 9 or 10 o'clock. Uh, that all seemed reasonable. So, the first thing I plotted on my Google Maps was the location of the Wawa gas station on Orange Avenue. And then I checked for gas stations 
near Jacksonville. And I found one very close to the highway. And I used that as my first gas stop or, well, actually it was my second gas up because I, the first one would have been at the Wawa station uh, when I left. And at that point, I would uh, verify my, the mileage on my bike and uh, the time and the location. So I went to, uh, went to the gas station in Jacksonville and there again, got my receipt, took a picture of it next to the odometer of my bike and continued on to Tallahassee. So my Google Maps, I went from Tallahassee. I then had to think of another destination that would be about two, two hours uh, from Tallahassee. And I chose Gainesville. And again, look for a gas station in Gainesville and, and then south to Naples and found a gas station there, cut across uh, Alligator Alley to uh, some point near Fort Lauderdale, uh, near where I would turn and head back north. And I did a couple of one more short stop in uh, Fort Pierce uh, on the way because it was just too long to go from Fort Lauderdale to Orlando without a break, at least for me. I'm an old guy, I don't like spending three to four hours uh, sitting on the bike without a break. So I stopped at uh, Fort Pierce and then continued on to Orlando. I arrived around 10.04 p.m. So uh, that was the ride. And uh, it was all, and I rode it exactly as I laid it out in Google Maps. So that way I could use Google Maps when I did my ride documentation, send my Google Maps link to the iron butt. Then one other thing they like is that you track your ride. For that, I use Spotwalla. There's a link to spotwalla.com in the description of my video. Spotwalla uses a tracker called SW Tracker. I assume that's short for Spot Wallet Tracker. And it's a tracker that uh, the Iron Butt so Association has approved and use it to help with verification of the ride. If some, sometimes, and some people have said that uh, setting up Spot Wallet and uh, also then using the Spotwalla app on your uh, phone, your smartphone, has been a little confusing. So there are YouTube videos teaching you how to set up the app and uh, use the website. I'll also put a link to those videos in the description. So after that, it's just to ride it and when you complete the ride next step is the documentation and what you send in to iron Bud and how you go about doing it i think i'll leave the documentation for the next video because it does get a little involved so we'll uh, see you next time uh, when I do the documentation for certification of my ride. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it and found this video informative, and I'll see you on the road. So take care, keep your shiny side up, rubber side down. Bye-bye.